tonight now as students head back to college, a warning about a worrisome trend on campus. One that experts say can be deadly, and many students aren't even aware of the potential risks. CBS 2's Dick Brennan reveals the dangers. It was always called the liquid diet. She's not talking about juicing, she's talking about boozing. I didn't see it as dangerous. In college, Lindsay Hall thought she found the perfect way to avoid the so-called freshman 15 while still being able to party. She drastically cut down on food, saving the calories for drinks instead. I wasn't going to give up my social life, but I also did not want to gain weight. And she was far from alone. To drink and not eat did seem it seemed normal. It seemed like what everybody else was doing. But experts say it's no laughing matter. It's a potentially deadly trend called drunkorexia. This behavior is particularly toxic. Claire Misco of the National Eating Disorders Association says it's an epidemic among college women who feel pressured to be thin. There's constant messages around body image and losing weight, fear of gaining weight. So these kinds of messages are all around for students. Misco warns that drunkorexia can lead to a full-blown eating disorder. It's very dangerous behavior. It's very risky and very unhealthy. That's exactly what happened to Hall, whose drunkorexia led to anorexia and bulimia. It opens your life up to you, all the whole eating disorder track, and it's a really hard track to get off of. According to Harvard researchers, two out of five college students are binge drinkers. Without food, alcohol is absorbed more quickly into the bloodstream. A combination of the two can be catastrophic. Horrible things can happen. If you increase the, uh, the effects of alcohol, you increase the risk of becoming poisoned with, uh, with alcohol and perhaps end up dying. Hall went to rehab and is now in recovery. She warns others of drunkorexia's dangers and is proof that life can be normal after it. It starts that whole process of trying to avoid calories instead of just eating. And you can eat and have a couple drinks and be just fine. It's freeing. Nearly a third of college students say they've engaged in drunkorexic behaviors. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Let's turn